Hi everybody, Stefan here from EDC Austria and today we are talking about the Zero Tolerance 0392 PUR PLK WC or Purple Black Warm Glyph which is this knife and it's a limited edition that's why you get this certificate that this is number 380. They don't say of how many, but they say mine with the serial number 380, which you also find on the plate, is authentic. Let's first talk about the specs before we get in, into the so-called, well, controversies. This is a so-called factory custom. That means it was designed by Rick Hinderer and the hardware is made by him and anodized by him. Zero Tolerance made the handles and the blade and they put it together and they applied the DLC coating which is on the whole knife, both on the blade and the handles. And just, it has of course KVD ball bearings. From a spec side, it's M390 steel, which is pretty much the best steel that's currently out there. It, ha it has a, a titanium handle, which like I said, is DLC coated fully. Um, the blade length is 3.5 inches or 8.9 centimeters. The closed length is 4.7 inches or 11.9 centimeters. And the, and the overall length is 8.2 inches or 20.8 centimeters. The weight it says is 5.6 ounces or 158.6 gram. Although I like to usually double check that. So let's do that. Okay, it's actually 160.6 grams and 5.66 ounces. Okay. Well, I'll show you some cutting footage and when we're back we're discussing the knife. So let's cut something. I mean we are pretty sure it will cut any paper you throw its way. Yeah that one was for sure of course and now let's find some cardboard on itself. but. The knife is having no problem cutting in any direction. So it really is sharp. Oh, and now we fit a nail. But I'm not gonna cut this. Hey, welcome back. So, about this knife. This 092 was the sixth iteration of that knife, meaning there were five previous ones with different blade shapes. There also was a one cliff version before that, and they were all sold the same way, namely over authorized zero tolerance dealers usually six of them and at 9 a.m pacific standard time you could place your order only one per person usually they were gone about 90 seconds to two minutes after they went online this time the price was 400 dollars by the way this time you actually had some some had them in stock a full week after 
the initial release date and you could even buy or you still can i checked today and today is i don't even know when the initial release was but quite some time ago and uh, even in germany a website has them for 499 euro which is actually all things considered a pretty good price that's the one thing also this one has a very soft detent so if you light switch it uh, of course now it works but you could you can see you can make it fail which actually with zero tolerance usually isn't possible and for kvd it's not really that smooth and one of the biggest things for me personally is just oh sorry i didn't see that this tiny tiny tip even though i haven't heard of any cases where that happened but it looks so fragile you're almost afraid i mean not almost you are afraid to use this tip so far it was great in use although the dlc coating isn't holding up that great but I really like this knife and I think it's worth 400 bucks but they I mean zero tolerance wants to release even more of this knife and I think um, the market is kind of saturated but let's check it out in more detail you see you have the purple tube spacers it is a flow through construction although no milling whatsoever inside you have a tri mount clip that means on the left side it's tip up and on the right side it's tip up or tip down and you see all the hardware was provided by rekindra himself so you could customize it with with his other hardware and basically this is the sixth knife with this handle shape there were different colors different styles different blades but in effect it's the same knife over and over again for me it's the first zero uh, zero three nine two so i'm pretty happy about it but for most people with the sixth one i guess the final point has been reached do you still want one i think they are still out there if i find some i link it yeah i mean the, the knife is made in america we do know that it has a deep carry clip pretty they call it deep carry clip what do you say sorry i didn't show this see and here you have the 380 again which i was certified that i'm the only one who has this number and also this was the first iteration where m390 steel was used it was previously cts uh, 24p steel which is basically the same thing but still as for size and i wanted to show you one more thing if you have a warm cliff then make it like this hundred dollar knife the Carter Prime and build a stable tip that's not a, a, a stabbing tip but you can find something something in between those two one that is way too slim and one that is almost non-existent this is great for opening packages there will be a separate review on this like i said i this knife wasn't the great knife 
that I was expecting and paid about $650 total for. The price came from shipping $100 at knife ship free and customs and of course the $400 price point. Here is a, a size comparison with the Carter Prime. Then it's about size wise it comes close to the Sebenza. So I'd say that that's where we leave it because this video is all already long. I hope you liked it. I mean it's still a recommendable knife but just not the great amazing knife I thought it would be. But it is a good knife. I hope you enjoyed the cutting footage and yeah if you like this video please like it. If you want to see more videos usually I'm more enthusiastic um, then please subscribe and if you have a question just ask in the comments. Okay bye bye. Hi sorry it's me again. I just noticed during editing that my whole review was a bit um, negative. I, I really expected too much. It is a great knife for $400, a hinderer, almost custom. I take that and I did and I'll take the next model too if they release it next year or later this year. I just wanted to make that clear. I was a bit disappointed but just because I had unrealistic hopes. So keep it up and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.